Hey guys, what's up? This is Benji Bruce, and I've got a really, really interesting and very cool guy on the line with me here. His name is Barry. Uh, Barry is a guy with GetMoreCorporateGigs.com, uh, one of the, the best corporate gurus out there. I mean, I, I was paying attention to Barry a long time ago. He's been featured on The Tonight Show. I mean, he's been an opening act for all sorts of guys, Howie Mandel, Dennis Miller, a ton of people. This guy has performed for so many Fortune 500 companies. We'd probably be sitting here forever if I listed him. Uh, he is like the corporate guy that you need to pay attention to, and we're going to do a quick interview with Barry. So, Barry, you there? Hey, Benji. Good to talk to you, man. Thanks. Yeah, likewise. Really I, yeah. As a matter of fact, um, Barry, can you, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, even though I kind of introduce yourself? Yeah. Can you, introduce you? can you tell us a little Sure, absolutely. I, uh, I was watching you too, by the way. I, you know, it's, it's good to see who's going on in the space and who's teaching. And I followed your blog for a long time, so it's nice to connect with you. Um, yeah, and, and and talk a little bit. So yeah, uh, like you said, Raspini Brothers. It's been my show for thirty years. Me and another guy. We're uh, you know, after thirty years in a partnership, uh, we're not really friends anymore. No, we're friends, <laughs> but we we have a good time. We've had an amazing partnership. Uh, it started at Renaissance Festivals in nineteen eighty two. Um, yeah, went into Tonight Show and uh, all the TV appearances one could ever want. I lived in L.A. at the time, and that turned into opening acts. That turned into corporate. And, uh, yeah, since 1988, that's been the focus of my world is kind of working in the corporate world. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. It's a good so, world, uh, as you know, you know. Yeah, it is. It's the, a good the world. Best market there is. Yeah, it's a good market. And, and you um, get to make a good living and not have to uh, – I, 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 all the, some of those names you mentioned, two of about the 24, 25 uh, celebrities I opened for, and I think all of them could have done without the uh, day-to-day part of the fame. And being a success in the corporate industry, uh, we're not burdened with any of that day-to-day fame. It's good. <laughs> we can live our lives and still make a good a good world, yeah. Yes, indeed. And as a matter of fact, uh, I said the whole get more corporate gigs, like what is get more corporate gigs team? Yeah, definitely. So get, get More Corporate Gigs happen. Benji, it's funny. I'm holding in my hand right here. I'll tap it. This is a um, this is a Rockwood pin. This is a pin that got put in my collarbone. In, in 2007, I had a mountain biking accident. And, you know, I was doing a lot of performing, and I couldn't move my arm for about six months because of my broken – I had a shattered collarbone. It went in a whole bunch of pieces. So I had this pin here put inside my arm. My bone grew back. But while I was laying around for those six months, I started – Asking myself some pretty interesting questions. I, I was asking myself, you know, what am I good at in this world? What else am I good at? I didn't know if I'd be ever able to perform my show anymore. Um, and what I came up with, I came up with this answer that I'm really good at booking a juggling act for a lot of money. <laughs> not a, not a, the most powerful realization for a 45 year old guy to, to, uh, come upon, but that's what it was. I mean, that's, that's what I realized I was good at. Uh, so laying there, I kind of started sketching out the idea for how I could help entertainers around the world. Um, you know, beef up their marketing, do what makes sense, get them to stick out, not look like everybody else in their marketing, take some of the exact techniques and strategies I've used to book myself in, in the best corporate dates in the world and teach those. And it's been amazing. Get More Corporate Gigs started in 2009, January 2009, so we're just starting the, the fifth year of it here. Uh, it's a 52-week course. It's a good course. It teaches a lot of the basics. Uh, and it, it gets inside the strategies, and there's an active membership forum in there. And, uh, yeah, there's art, there's a article that come out, comes out every week. A lesson comes out every week. There's follow-up emails in between. And it's a lot of content, and it's up to the people to do something with it. Uh, I don't do hand-holding in there, but every tool and trick that I've used is, is uh, taught in there. Yeah, yeah it's been fun. All right, and... And, I mean, obviously, you, you know why. You've seen a ton of different entertainers. And uh, one of the things, when you look at entertainers, I mean, you see good marketing, bad marketing. So what are, like, some mistakes that entertainers and speakers, they, they make when they're, like, promoting their act, trying to get gigs? Yeah. What are some mistakes you see? Yeah, you know, you see this stuff all the time. We, we're under the delusion that clients care about us. Uh, you know, that they really could give a crap about us. And the truth is they care about themselves. They care about making their event better. And it's very counterintuitive to what we tend to talk about. You hear entertainers talk about how many awards they've won, uh, how many shows they've done, um, you know, this. And the truth is they couldn't give 
they couldn't care any less about all that stuff. You know, they care is, can you make my event better? Can you make me look better to my boss? Can you help me deliver a message to clients, to my sales staff that will motivate them? That's all they care about. So, you know, the big mistake is is believing that clients care about us. And sadly, they don't. I know it's a blow to the ego, but there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd like them to care about me. Yeah. <laughs> And they, they care about us a little more after our show because we, we've delivered on what we said. But really, in the marketing phase, man, speak their language, talk to their core conflicts, and you can have a whole different conversation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. I agree 100%. As, as a matter of fact, like, um, uh, what, what's the, I don't know, what's the, the one thing that you've seen just coaching entertainers that will slow down an entertainer's career? Like, uh, I don't know, are they short-sighted or what? What's the one thing that yeah. slow down an entertainer's career other than uh, obviously thinking the client cares about them? Too much? Right, 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 yeah. Well, you know, when I think about slowing, uh, what slows us down and what limits us, puts a glass ceiling, I mean, I mean we're all entrepreneurs. As inter- entertainers, we are entrepreneurs. So I find a lot of entertainers have kind of built a glass ceiling for themselves, and, and a lot of this goes back to a story they tell themselves about uh, their value um, their worth, their abilities. So, you know, what slows people down mostly, Benji, is their story that they tell themselves about themselves. You know, and it, it's terrible. That story only has as much power as, as we give it. Uh, I help people, certainly in, in private coaching, I did this for a long time, just really help people redefine the story they told themselves. And it's amazing what happens once you, you change that story about yourself. Uh, because, you know, we are we are where we're at. You're where you're at. I'm where I'm at because of stories we've told ourselves. And, uh and I, I'm, I'm just telling myself better stories. I mean, that's, that's what it is. And I've done that since I did in 1988. I had my first corporate date. We had a manager at the time who had gotten us on The Tonight Show and gotten us on tour with Billy Crystal and Robin Williams. And, you know, those were long six-year opening act gigs and really good gigs. And the story he told himself was that that was, that was our end and, and this one corporate date was a fluke. Um, and the truth is, the story I told myself is that corporate scene is all I want. Whether I ever see another celebrity or not, I couldn't care. Uh, so even in 1988, I just changed my story to I need to focus on the corporate market, and I operated from that place. And uh, yeah, so be careful the stories you tell yourself. And another thing that slows people down is also just the input they take. You know, if people are taking in mainstream media every day and believing that story, um, that's a glass ceiling. You know, you listen to some guy in a nice suit in New York with a fancy backdrop telling you the economy sucks. Your story is going to be that the economy sucks. My story is the economy's on fire, and, and that's what it is for me. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I've, I've seen that too many times where everyone's like, oh, the economy's down. And it's like there's still people spending money, so go get it. Mm. Like, hey. But um, as a matter of fact, uh, speaking of just telling stories and everything, uh, yeah. what's probably the one thing that people can do right now, like literally today, uh, that they can do to actually get gigs. Yeah, well, that's a good question. You know, oh, and and, and we'll preface that with uh, besides uh, um, uh, besides talking about themselves and telling themselves different stories. We'll just move on. <laughs> yeah, because those are two yeah. things you can definitely do. Uh, but you know, a, a good tip is before you, if you get an inquiry for a client, say you get one through your website or a phone call, before you call that person back. Before you even pick up the phone to call them back, spend five minutes on their website. Find out the words that are important to them. Find out one thing about them that you could mention on the phone call that makes you sound a little bit different. Uh, You know, there's an entire strategy, of course, that I teach around this, and and it's a very powerful strategy. Um, But right now, you can just at least look at their website for five minutes. Go to their mission statement. Uh, go to their About Us page and then do a uh, just a Google search and find out what's going on with that company so that when you call them back, you're in their world a little bit. You're using words that matter to them. You're using their, their jargon, their lexicon. Um, very powerful thing to be doing. That's, it's a game changer on conversations. Um, and just think, how am I looking like every single other person that's, a, that's a, submitting their stuff for this? And if you can identify two or three ways that you're looking the same, change them so you're not looking the same, even if it's a big old risk. Um, you know the risk of doing it the same way. It's gotten you where you are. Now let's look at the risk of what it's like to do it a little bit differently. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's, that's very good. Okay. And uh, as a matter of fact, um, I, I remember 
a client or not a client, a magician not too long ago sent me an email uh, and they were actually talking about you. They were like, yeah, this guy Barry, have you seen his stuff? He's really good. And, mm. and, uh, and I was like, yeah, I know Barry. And I mean, you and I, we yeah. obviously chat quite a bit like yeah. on Facebook and everything. Yeah. And you obviously love helping entertainers and, and speakers and everything, just get more gigs and yeah. like that. So, uh, I mean, what's, what's next for you? So yeah. what's the, the next big thing in the Barry world? Yeah, <laughs> Barry world. Well, I'll tell you, 30, 30 years on the road, Benji, and uh, I, don't, I, don't even, I don't even think you're 30 yet, are you? You're a young, good-looking guy. See? <laughs> no, but, I'm, I'm 25. 25, perfect. So, yeah, yeah, did my Tonight Show, I think, the, the night your mom was going, look, it's a boy. Um, but, but that's all right. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I'm, always, I'm looking for the next new thing, all right? I've been doing that for, you know, ever since my accident that got this little pin put in my, uh, in my, uh, my collarbone. I, I've just always been interested in what's next, and I did that with my act. I did that with the different markets I worked. And I ended up speaking at five TED conferences with my partner because I was just always pushing into, into those worlds where people uh, are that I want to be. So Get More Corporate Gigs is on its fifth year. A year and a half ago, I started a new program called the Showbiz Blueprint. It's a, a 10-week, in-depth, very hardcore. If get more corporate gigs as a bachelor's degree, this is a uh, this is a master's degree, um, and and we go hands-on. Ten webinars that are, uh, you know, what to do, steps A through Z. It's exactly uh, what I did to run my business. I have recorded phone calls that I have with clients that I play for people. I take you inside my writing sessions. I, there isn't one thing I don't do. I'm uh, still performing, although it's not the thrust of my life anymore. I'll, I'll jump out and do things for clients. Although uh, I'm teach, I'm giving away the, the the farm on my marketing stuff. I think 60 or so, 60 alumni so far have done Showbiz Blueprint, and uh, they love it. It's life changing. I have probably better video testimonials uh, from entertainers who have done that than uh, I ever got for my act. Just as far as life changing, and uh, it's a big part of my life. I, I want to make a difference, and. Uh, Taking risks for me is how I make a difference. It's a big risk to do this kind of a program, and uh, that's what's happening now. There's a box on this page, on this page that, um, with this interview, where you can opt in and see a series of videos where I talk more about some of the stuff Benji and I have talked about on this call, although I go a lot deeper into it in these videos. Put your name and email in that box right there, and you'll uh, instantly um, get the first, second, or third video, whichever one we're up to, and the other ones will be on the page. Um, yeah, it talks about Showbiz Blueprint in the last video I mentioned it, and, and the truth is whether you want to do that, whether you want to step into that game where you're going to get uh, the education, the tools, the techniques to play bigger in life, that's up to you. I do hope that you'll take part in uh, the free video series and um, incorporate that stuff into your business. Just starting the second the video ends, just incorporate it right away. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, speaking of incorporating, I mean, uh, you're obviously one of the guys who are actually doing, you've done what it is you're teaching. I mean, there's obviously a ton of guys out there who uh, they're booking, I don't know, maybe shows for 200, 300 bucks, giving advice. Uh, I mean, what were you booking? Like shows at like 10 grand, 20 grand or, or something like that? Well, we just did a super computing 2012. Two days there, I did a $30,000 contract at that one at the trade show. So I, mean, I like, I like things that hit a little bit harder. I mean, that's, that's where I've worked my price up to. I've, uh, you know, and I, Benji, I'll tell you between you, me and anyone listening to this call, the act that my partner Dan and I do now isn't a whole lot different than the act we did at the Renaissance Festival in 1982. What's changed is the way that we speak to clients, the way we market it, our on-stage relationships, some of our jokes. Hell, some of our props are still the same. Uh, you know, what's changed is the business side of show business, and that's what uh, Showbiz Blueprint deals with, the business side of it. Yeah, okay. yeah so definitely get advice from, from Barry, the guy who knows what he's talking about. Uh, so go ahead and sign up now, put your name and email in, and and uh, turn a ton. Enjoy the videos. Hey, really good to talk to you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, thanks. Thanks for being on the call and everything. So. Oh, uh, you bet, Benji. Really good to talk to you, man. Keep doing your stuff too. I, I love the way you're uh, talking to folks about image and uh, you know how we look to clients. It's huge. Thank you.